Hi, I'm Andrew Hebet with Feature Arts Entertainment, and uh, I'm waiting for a friend right now, but uh, he's running a bit late. I called him, I texted him, but you know, he's just he's just not Andre. showing up. Andre, what's going on, man? There he is, uh, everyone. This is Jimmy. I'm sorry, I'm late. Actually, <sighs> sorry, I'm late, man. I got caught up with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, girls, bikinis, uh, beaches. Were they hot? Oh, no. Then it's cool. Well, then there we go. What's going on, guys? Jimmy Blitz here with Ultra Audio. Of course. Oh, you know, I'm here to bet from Arts TV. But today, but today we're doing something very special here. Over here at the Spring Street Studio. We're calling this the Alter Feature. Alter Feature is alright, right? Yep. That's a, that sounds nice. Like that. I think there should be a new thing. A new genius. I'll tell you that. A new genius. But here we are at the Spring Street Studio to check out the art show. Mixed. That's true. Here we go. Mixed two show. And so here we are outside the building. But, uh, a bunch of music, I see people and girls coming in and out. So I we're glad that we do check it out. We're gonna head in. Come on, let's go. He has a big fetish with Smurfs. Yeah, I don't know what's up with uh, a Batman Smurfette. I'm not sure if I'm cool with that. Well, it's a Batgirl because it's a girl. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, that looks like 60s era Batman costume. I'm not so sure. No, Batgirl, Batgirl has the same, the same cost. Well, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. But uh, I'm really digging the Spider-Man Smurf. The Spider-Man does. I mean, I'm not a big Smurf fan. Is he like Spider-Smurf? Uh, I think Or would be Spider-Man Smurf? Like, see, those aren't even Smurfs. Those are just movies. Those yeah, are more like Avatar. But then, no, but then look at the hat. You got the hat on Underdog. You have the hat. You have the hat on uh, on Beavis, and then you have the hat on uh, on Popeye. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this is cool. You know, like there's copyrights and stuff. <laughs> no. Andy? How you been? Good, uh, man. You want to step a um, We're just setting up for this show. It's like, I've been like painting all week, you know, trying to get the show ready. But I'm trying to get like 101 pieces to show. I'm like, maybe like 95% done. So after this, you know, I'm going back to work. But this is some of the stuff I've been working on. So, 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 what, so what is your fetish with the Smurfs, I must ask? Huh? What is your fetish with the Smurfs, I must ask? It wasn't really a fetish like that. Um, last year, I decided to do small paintings. And, you know, a better way for to, to do the Smurfs because the character is small, you know. And I found out they were having a movie, so I'm kind of like, you know, just yeah, rolling you know, with just it. With and then I just couldn't stop. I just kept going, going, going until the movie's released, and I'm just like gonna show my show at the same time. And so what inspired you to do these drawings? You know, like uh, you know, our, our, the famous icons of our childhood. Yeah. And and, and then you just like you well, know, well, I'm a pop artist, so that's that's all I make. That's all I create. You know, pop icons. That's, that's what I like to do. So you're on you're on your mission to make a, to make a, have 101 pieces. Yeah. Of like the same thing or just yeah, like pieces? half paintings, half drawings. Right. Hopefully. Well, yeah. I have a week. Huh? I have a week. You know. You a week? That's like that's like uh, that's like five or six paintings a day. Yeah. So yeah, next Sunday, come. Next Sunday, gonna be over here. No. It's at my uh, my gallery. Oh. The uh, Warhouse. At the Warhouse. The one, war, the one, the one and only Warhouse that goes down. Uh, if you guys haven't been there yet, it's a place to be. Incredible art shows. Danny puts on an amazing show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Ken. Look. He just, he just made that right in front of our eyes. This is, this is handmade, you know. Watch him go, watch him go. How many did you make today? 
¿Qué me dice? Ah, oh, claro. ¿Cuánto, cuánto, de, de, ¿Cuánto hiciste? ¿Cuánto he vendido o cuánto he hecho? Hecho, hecho. Oh, hecho. Para, para, para hoy, como, como cuando tienes los nuevos pies, pedazos ahí, ¿no? Hoy día no he hecho. Siempre estoy haciendo, todos los días estoy haciendo every day, every day working. Every day, I, I work, my, I have my, my, my work. But every day, the nine uh, at six, you know? In the nine, I, I work, I work in, in my art. My life no es my art. La idea es que my art sea mi arte, pero todavía no. Todavía no. Cuando pueda vivir de eso va a ser. Te voy a llamar porque voy a llamar y va a ir a mi casa. ¿Sí? ¿Te ¿No? gustaría yo? Pero dígame de, la, de los nuevos pedazos que, que tiene de aquí, de las maderas. ¿Dónde parto? ¿Acá? Pues cuál es. Este, este, este es lo primero que este estoy mirando. Este, este es el ojo. Madera, cedro, tallado en madera. Everything, you know, todo está tallado en madera. Ojo metálico, comprado. Le, le idea ocupar, ocupar cosas básicas y recicladas. La idea no comprar madera, nada, la idea ocupar de tu trabajo, que salgan cosas que están sí. botadas, unirlas, juntarlas y hacer las piezas. So, todo esto es so, so madera que alguien se lo Reciclado. Y tú, y, tú lo, y tú lo traes, lo limpias y... Y, 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 y no se construye, se, se, se pegan madera unas con otras sí. y se talla, como esto, por ejemplo. Mira, por ejemplo aquí, este alien es, es madera reciclada también. Si tú ves, tiene una, dos, son tres maderas pegadas. Pegadas dos juntos. Y talladas. Mira. Porque era basura. It's trash. Yeah. For, the, for the people it's trash. For me no it's trash. For me it's... For me it's good, you know. For me, it's, yo lo junto y lo tallo junto. Sí. This one, esto, estos son los rodillos para pintar. Esta parte de los rodillos para pintar. Sí. Donde pinta de madera, es, lo corté, ta, ta, la antena. Perfecto, era perfecto para hacer la antena. Era. You know? era, lo demás era, era madera que estaba botada en mi trabajo y se ocupa. Las bases también las hago de madera botada. Yo no, no compro nada. La idea es no comprar nada. No, no, no compras no compra nada. La idea es no comprar madera. Si no hacer arte. Solo, solo la basura que recoges ahí en la calle. Si tú compras para hacer arte, no ganas nada. O, o, no es la idea. La idea es hacer cosas sin nada. A partir de la basura. Y hacer algo bonito y hermoso, no sé, tallado. Eso es metal. Eso es una pieza de metal. Este es mi gusto. Ya, yeah, dices metal. Basura, esto es basura, esta base era basura también. Ahora ya no es basura. Ahora Ahora para un fanático es algo cool. Yo soy fanático de Alien, you know. I am, I am fanatic for Alien. The Giger, Giger, Art Giger. For me this one is so cool. I, mean, I love this in my house. This is I work for me, not for the art. It's for me. But okay. I make other one, different. Yeah. Oh, it's the idea. This one, I, I buy this one, you know, today. Maybe tomorrow I make other one, different. More cool, more cool, this is the idea. Tú eres artista, puedes seguir y puedes seguir haciendo más cosas y construyendo más cosas y haciendo no, más, no, no paras, y más, te puedes, te puedes y más, y más. Yo, creo, yo vendo todo, yo estas cosas las quiero como mías. Sí. Yo lo hago para mi casa, pero no son para mi casa. Al final yo voy a morir y... Pero, pero, pero esto, esto, you know. esto es cool. Yeah. Y, y, y la idea de esto es tocar las cosas. You touch, touch, please. Es, 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 es arte para tocar. Art for, ¿cómo se dice? Arte para tocar. Arte para tocar. Sí. Art for touch. You need touch, touch, touch. You need touch. I can't keep my eye away from the eye, if you would. Can't keep my eye away from the eye. Oh. Well, that's a bug. I might have to break. <laughs> uh, Aldrin, what's your art today? Um, I have my fashion line here. People are looking at um, My aesthetic is very androgynous. Um, the aesthetic where, like, you know, it's kind of a mixture between feminine and masculine characteristics, but, like, no distinct line in between the two. So I guess the more modern word would be unisex, I guess unisex clothing. Um, it's very edgy, a lot of black. Um, and you just throw it on, it's very versatile. A lot of things can transform, it's transform into other things. But I'm just starting out. Uh, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. Wow, really? Yeah, I just graduated high school last year. So nice. yeah, my first year of college. So yeah, it's been going pretty well so far. What got you yeah. into it? What's that? What got you into it first? Um, you, honestly, I do not know. I started off playing basketball for a while, and I was on varsity and everything. And 
it just wasn't fun anymore. And then um, I just started taking, um, you know, notice into what I wear and started to like it. And all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I'm, I think I can make this. And then it got to the point where I'm kind of good at this, you know, so the rest is history, I guess. I think what I really dig about your art clothes is that it kind of really fits Houston weather. You know, it's just very light, very yeah. breezy, very easy, accessibly. Yeah. And so, I mean, I could probably walk this, you know, wear that and not break a sweat out oh, here in nice. Houston, you know? You're too kind, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I really dig it, I really dig it. So, so what, like, what, what, well, you know, with some of your fashion lines, let's, let's take a look over here at some of these things, you know? Uh, like, obviously from your, you know, you have a lot of, you have a lot of creations here, and they're probably all one of your favorites, but if you had to pick one, I'd really, it really just is your favorite. What would, what would, it, be? What would it be? Well, I'm wearing this one right now, <laughs> so I guess so. Oh, one? Yeah, but this one's a longer version of it. But um, let me see. Uh, for this girl, I love this skirt. It's very architectural. It's one of my favorites. And um, for the guy, I would have to say this one. This one's really cool. I do like that one. It's kind of like a... It's kinda like a, a the but, like a butcher but not really you know like I like I you know it's like find a name for it because you first see it his aggression his face you know the models the models really you know really, like what do you take these photos for, for these, no, with I, these? It, was, it was essentially it was my vision but I didn't take the photos it's um, Destin Manzier yeah he's the photographer for this yeah it's pretty good so where do you uh, sell your clothes um, I sell through here you can meet me here and I'm also in one other store Melodrama which is on Almeda Road and um, and she uh, reorders my clothes frequently, so you can get my clothes from there as well. What's yeah. the name of your line? It's my name, Andre Rideau. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, could you show us a couple of your uh, designs, just to uh, bring it out for us? Uh, These are shorts. Yeah. Very nice. The architectural feel to it. I have the same one here in the skirt that I showed you before. These are more shorts, with, like the panel on it, things like that. Um, I have some pants. Pretty cool. Oh, I did those. Yeah. It's a little panel. There's some drop crunch pants here. Yeah. It's really nice. So what kind of fabric do you use for, uh, for say, for these pants? I, the te the texture is a little rougher. Yeah, it's like so, a uh, what kind of, kind of almost like a canvas material, like a very canvas material. It's pretty cool. I got it from Walmart, actually, for like $3. It's crazy. Right. It was on sale, yeah, ridiculous. But, um... This is a cool piece as well. It's almost like a harness type thing. Uh, that's a really flowy thing too. And this one's actually really cool. It's like a, a scarf slash jacket. Well, is this uh, from yeah. the, this it's picture right here? Right here. I, was, I was just about to ask that. Yeah, let me just take a look at this real quick. Because like, seeing it through there doesn't, doesn't justify it. But like seeing it here in person, you know, you see it like it has the, has the naked back on it. Yeah. Has a zipper on the front, and I guess like the scarf goes from underneath the bottom part and up and around the, 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 the neck. You can actually put this on your head, like the hood, or you know, tie it around your waist, or whatever you want to do with it. So, are you working oh, on any other ideas for another line, or is this your main focus right now? Um, I'm always thinking about what's next, always. Uh, even, you know, even after I've sewn one piece, like it's always about what's next, so. No, I'm, I'm definitely always tapping into different, you know, what inspires me and stuff like that. And sometimes it can be the craziest thing from nature to, I don't know, a gang. I'm really inspired by, like, gangs and, like, organized crime and stuff like that. It's so crazy, I don't know. Yeah, what about them? But just uh, kind of, like, the cult logic of it is just really, like, um, extreme. Yeah. It's, like, so extreme to the point where it's, like, it's, like, if I don't do this, it's death pretty much, you know. And I just love that about it. That or anything that's that extreme is, I guess I'm extremist pretty much. And I guess I've chosen your designs, yeah. you know, because some of them are like just sharp and just cut up yeah. at angles. Exactly. It's really cool. I really yeah. like your stuff, though. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I mean, I, I, me starting, I didn't know how people would respond to it, but so far it's been a lot of good fee feedback. I'm excited about it. Hey, it, it won't be long until we all start wearing it because uh, <laughs> I call that I call this hoodie. That's that's for sure. I would really, I would like this hoodie. I so. like it in blue. <laughs> he has to be different from me. Right. No, I dig, I dig the one. I dig, I dig the nice. Uh, it's like it's not white, but it's not blue. It's just like this. Uh, yeah. well, what do we call this color? Um, I guess it's kind of a gray, a gray color as well. I guess like a bluish gray. I, don't know. I dig that. I dig that. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. So, you guys, guys, I'm sorry you guys missed out on the great show here. Uh, it's been an incredible time hanging out with Andre over here. Yeah, it's been really good. I mean. Uh, 
you know, who'd have thought a joint production between uh, two, you know, grassroots companies would go off so well the first time. So I'm really excited. Got a chance to work with Jimmy. I like what he's been doing on Altered Audio. And, um, you know, I'm here with Featured Arts and Entertainment, you know, Altered Audio, and we're, gonna, we're combined for the first time to make Altered Feature. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to be sort of uh, something cool. Think about it as like an art date with us, too. Uh, a little bit of romantic adventures here, there, and here and there and everywhere about. Uh, you know, we got a lot of things going on for the future in the fall. Of course, you can find everything at thisisalteraudio.com, where you will find everything from the Houston's music, arts, beer, and food scene. And of course, for featured arts and entertainment, where you can find your stuff at? TheVentureOnline.com, where you can uh, find us on YouTube as well at Watch1394, uh, which is our YouTube page for everything featured. You can find news, you can find sports, and you can find me and uh, Eric Andrade, my normal co-host who isn't here right now. But um, yeah, that's what we just want to do. We just want to do the same thing as Alter Audio does. We want to collaborate some more and, you know, just have fun going out. And we hope you guys join us a lot of the time because Houston's a great city. It's a big city. You're going to get lost. And I hope you get lost with us. The best part of getting lost in Houston is that you always make a little U-turn. You find your way back around. But, of course, uh, you always catch us, you know, the Alter Audio team with me and George Moore. Which he's not here too. He's uh, he's out and about. They two might be hanging out. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, they're probably shooting a uh, featured uh, audio right now. I or think. writing something. Who knows what these guys could be doing? Well, we're at, we're out of the cases. We're gonna be here again. Sorry, you guys have to miss out. For altered for altered featured, this is Jimmy Blitz. And for featured entertainment, and also altered feature, this is Andrew Hibet. And I would just like to say one thing. See you in the fall, guys. There you go. And for, uh, for again, for Alter Feature, we got Andre, Jimmy Blitz. Catch you out and about. Peace and love.